Big Ten Ted is a man of the people. So here's your basketball coverage. And what a time to jump into it. Two best teams of the Big Ten, Tuesday night, going at it. Illinois and Purdue in the great city known as West Lafayette. Uh, Indiana. So let's break this one down, right? These two teams met a few weeks ago. Double overtime classic in which the road team, Purdue, ended up overcoming Illinois um, in that game. Now, these are two teams that love to score the ball, right? These are two of the highest scoring teams in the Big Ten. These are two of the best teams in terms of, in terms of shooting the ball from the perimeter. Three-point percentage. Alfonso Plummer for Illinois leads the Big Ten by a pretty good margin in terms of three-point field goals this season. Let's start there with Illinois. Um, I love the balance of this team head coached by Brad Underwood. I love, obviously, everybody's going to focus on Kofi Coburn down low. Athletic big man, over 20 points per game. They're going to focus in on him. But I love the inside-out game. I love Frazier and what he's able to do, creating off-the-bounce, kind of short-range, mid-range jumper. And then Alfonso Plummer, he can hit shots, as I mentioned, uh, from the outside. And I think that's what makes this Illinois team dangerous because when you go into a Big Ten tournament play, when you go into NCAA tournament play, sometimes you got to win six games in a row to win, to win it all, to win the whole dance. And in order to do that, sometimes one part of your game might not be on it, especially when you're playing, you know, two out of three nights. Sometimes your three-point shot isn't going to be on. So you got to go go down low. You got to pound the paint. You got to try to get to the line. So I love the balance that Illinois plays with. I think Illinois is a slightly, slightly more talented team than than Purdue. Not necessarily not saying they're a better team. I just think they're a little bit more talented, especially on the perimeter. I think the big key to this one, okay, Kofi Coburn did not have the best game against Purdue the last time they played. I think it was only 10 points for Kofi Coburn. Since then, Coburn has been unleashed. 37-12 and in that big win against Wisconsin. I'll get to that here uh, in a little bit for Illinois, what they've done since their loss uh, to Purdue. But I think that's the key in this one. If Purdue can match the game plan of what they did, Williams and Eddie down low, Right, you talk about Eddie, the big man, the big, big man. Um, he's averaging 7.6 per game the last time these two teams played. He put up 20. So I think he's kind of an X factor uh, for Purdue. If he can have a good game inside, they could once again be in a good position. I believe this game is going to be one down low, but also the team who shoots the ball better from the outside, from the three-point arc, could also have a big-time advantage in this one. The last time these two teams played, Purdue shot great from outside, 44%. That's going to be a big-time key um, in this matchup uh, between the Boilermakers um, and the Illini. And, you know, Purdue, you look at them this year, they've been on it. They've been on it. And, you know, in the losses that they've had, they've had very close losses. Of course, the one that sticks out on the road at the rack you know, uh, Porter Jr. hitting it from 30, 35, maybe more feet out at the buzzer, uh, which was the, the game of the year so far, or the finish of the year so far in the Big Ten. Um, but let's circle back to Illinois, okay? They lost that game, double overtime, heartbreaker at home against Purdue. What has Illinois done since then? Close win on the road against the good, good Michigan State team. And then close win on the road against Northwestern. And then the two more impressive games. Because remember, Illinois lost in double overtime to Purdue. And then they suffered a letdown. Double-digit loss to Maryland. And this is not a Maryland team that's as good as Maryland teams have been um, in the past. But those two big wins, the last two games against Illinois, double-digit win at home against Wisconsin, and then going on the road, big second half, beating an Indiana team that was ahead on them about seven, eight points earlier in that first half and had the momentum uh, in Bloomington to come back, kind of readjust at halftime and get that big win uh, for Illinois to come back the way they did. They're rolling right now. And they're running pretty good. This is a very interesting matchup. The two most talented teams in the Big Ten. I think you've got Illinois and Purdue. When you talk about Big Ten teams that can make a run and finally break through and possibly win a national championship, I'm looking at Illinois and Purdue. I think they've got the most talent. I think they've got the most depth in a conference with depth. Those two teams, I think, can do it in a variety of ways. Wisconsin's good. Michigan State is good. Indiana's good. But they're not great. 
I look at Purdue and Illinois, and I see great. How do you guys see this one going down? I'm excited for this one, right? What a way to start the basketball coverage here on the Big Ten TED YouTube channel. Leave your predictions in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. Tournament time is just around the corner. We'll have all kinds of coverage. Stay tuned. I'm Big Ten Ted. We'll see you in the next one.